Last year, I had a serious accident when I was on holiday. I fell 20 foot over a wall. I broke both my feet and I was left unable to walk. So I've had two major surgeries in my feet, metal screws, metal plates. So I'm now finding it hard to walk and I'm in chronic pain constantly. Well, I've never seen anything like it in, in football or sport before. Well, you didn't break them, you shattered them. You broke them into pieces. Physio with Gary is helping my recovery, but I still can't walk properly and it's really getting to me. But I'm not alone. According to the British Pain Society, chronic pain affects about 28 million adults in the UK who are living with pain that has lasted for three months or longer. I want to be fit and active, but how do I beat the pain? Hi. Hey. I'm meeting Hi. Professor David Walsh, who is an expert in pain management, to find out how exercise might help me. But first, I want to ask him about painkillers. In my case, it's knowing do I take the painkillers or do I learn to deal with the pain? Like, what's the best thing to do? I would rather people be relieving their pain so they can remain active than not able to do things because they're in too much pain. I was active before. I've run marathons. I love running. I love putting my earphones on going for a run. Actually, yeah. the fitter you are, the less of a problem pain tends to be. And that's partly to do with the way that the nervous system is processing pain signals. To illustrate how pain isn't fixed to what's going on in your ankle and that it's changed by the way the nervous system works, there's a little experiment we could do down in the gym. Oh, I suppose I've got to start one day. Just don't kill me. Professor Walsh is going to do a test to show me how our bodies might process pain differently after exercise. Just gently press on you. At the point at which that pressure turns to pain, yeah. then you press that and I stop. And we'll compare the results to see whether your sensitivity has changed after you having done a bout of exercise. I have to do this three times. When I feel the pain, I press the button. Press it. Then it's time to get on the bike. You're giving me a dead leg now. <laughs> Keep going, Kate. <laughs> Can I get off yet? After the hard work, it's time to have my pain threshold tested again. Well, I think it was stronger after. Yeah, absolutely. And it just illustrates that actually doing the exercise makes you less sensitive to the pressure that I was applying. After the cycle, I was exhausted, but the experiment worked. It showed on this occasion my body was more resistant to pain after exercise. This gives me hope exercise could help my recovery. NHS advice suggests exercise could help with some people with chronic pain, but seek medical advice as it can be different for everyone. But for some people, chronic pain is so serious that in extreme circumstances, they decide to take drastic measures. I'm meeting Jamie. He was a healthy nine-year-old boy until he developed complex regional pain syndrome in his leg. I mean, my feet started to go a little bit red, a little bit purple, and it kind of just came from, OK, I can't walk right now, to, oh, I can't actually get out of bed right now, or I can't do this. So from the age of about nine, I was a full-time wheelchair user. It was just excruciating, absolutely. Every single day, from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed, even in the middle of the night, I was waking up in pain. By the time I was 16, I'd already had 25 operations. When was the breaking point for you when you actually said to people, look, I really can't deal with this pain? I'd had all of those operations and then the doctor said, we're going to do this surgery, this surgery, this surgery. You know, you listed like another five, ten yeah. surgeries. And then at the end of it, they said, or amputation might be a choice. And that's years down the line. I suddenly went, wait, it's my leg that's causing me so much problem, so many problems. If I didn't have a leg, I wouldn't have the problems. And eventually found a doctor that would be willing to amputate for me. As soon as I had my amputation, it was like that completely new life for me, you know, yeah. because walking was never a prospect for me. Whereas when I had my amputation, I then was thinking, oh, okay, now I can walk. Now I can walk, let's look at running. Now I can run, let's look at competing. Let's look at actually taking that to the next level. So since having your amputation, have you had any regrets at all? Because it sounds like you don't have. There is a risk that my pain could just come back, but there's not a single day that I don't wake up and appreciate the journey that I've, I've been through. It's been so amazing speaking to Jamie because dealing with pain, as we've now realised, is on all different levels. 